All right. Let's see if everything holds together. It might. It might. Just want to shoot some things and chill out. What? Anyway. Hope everybody's doing well tonight. I'm hoping this game holds up. Uh, servers are, as always... I shouldn't say as always. I don't have like a shit ton of time playing the game. But I like it. It's a fun one. I like the little trick of shutting your engines off, though. Anyway, yeah, we'll see how long this plays for, though, before I have an issue. Might switch over to Warframe or Elite Dangerous or something. I don't even know what all this is. Guns. How do I choose? No, this doesn't work. Ah! Jesus. Broken, thank you for the host. I appreciate that. How are you doing, good sir? Let me do this real quick because I know you stream every now and again. Hey, what's up, dude? How's Elite treating you? you get to your Guardian stuff yet or not yet? I got my laptop going, so things are a little different. The raw material farm. It's a good one. I mean, it's super convenient. If this doesn't play for very long, then I'll end up switching over to Elite and heading out that way myself, actually. Come on. Come on, video game. On the second to last spot. Yeah, you just you fly back and do the trade down. It's honestly it's not too terribly inefficient. And there's a lot of exploration data available on the way, right? So definitely super good.
Come on. It's a few things, a few things buggy. Just a few. Yeah, for me in that, the hardest thing to do, or the most cumbersome thing to do is um, Oh, he's too close. Damn it. Oh, that one's down. Come here. Oh, you sons of bitches. There's ah. the last one. Got him. Sweet. Well, that was easy. Now, let's see here. Was it control? No. F. Guns, guns. How much ammo? Oh, I have a lot of ammo left. Oh, that's cool. You know what? I I don't mind the planetary, actually. I, I didn't find it too terrible. I mean, it takes a second to get used to. Once you get used to it, it's not too bad. I'm going to do that guy. This map away. We'll go kill this bounty real quick. Yeah, not having a, a 60 light year jump range is. You definitely miss that kind of thing for sure. I don't know if one missile is enough to kill this guy. Oh, looks like it is. Okay. Hmm. So that that was a lot easier than I expected. Yeah, sixty light year range is uh, it's nice. It's nice. Try this one. Let me go to the map. Where is it? Nope. First in. Beacon. There we go. <laughs> I can see that. You go driving around one of those planets and you suddenly sneak up on your own ship. I can see that being scary. I don't use the Conda for that though. I do. Um, I like the Diamondback, man. The DBX is just super easy. Falco, what's going on, homie? How are you doing tonight? I'll give you a shout out in a second. I gotta go kill a bounty. Oh, oh! I haven't failed anything yet. Junk. I get it. That's pretty good, man. I actually really like that. I will have to remember that one for, for other people. Oh, shit. Are you dead yet? No, you're just ruined.
Oh my god, you just need to die. Alright, bounty down. Missile away. Oh no, he's too close. Shit. It's too close. It's too close. Oh. Alright, got that one. Who's next? Who's next? It's going to be this guy. I don't have any short range missiles. All my missiles are long range. Alright, that one's down. We get this guy. Alright, I got one more. This is the guy that's, yeah, he's spinning out of control because I shot his wings off. Come on. Oh. Got all of them. And my buddy Viking, who is in fact my neighbor, just hit me for a party invite. Where am I at? I'm at Ida. I want to go... I want to go someplace I can get repairs. And ammo. I think I can go here for that. We're going to go to this station. We'll find out. Right, made some space monies. I am a citizen. What's going on, Frosty? I declined it? Oh, I pushed the wrong button. Shit. Well, you'd done your mole stuff, and I saw that you had logged out, so I figured I'd jump in and do some uh, do some NPC stuff. Shoot some shoot some bounty guys. See if I can't get up to like 100k. That's all. <laughs> oh, Cat's in here too? What's up, Cat? How are y'all doing tonight? I have to do some shoutouts. Hold on. Why am I losing comlinks? This game always makes me super paranoid to stream, actually, because I never know how it's really going to work. Like, you never know if it's going to be good. You never know if it's going to be screwed up. You never really know how the game's going to play. But, so far, 15 minutes in, and it seems fine... I'm I'm sure it is part of the streaming uh, streaming amusement, but it is not streaming amusement to me. It is super frustrating for me. I'm assuming that I can come here and refuel and rearm. So Vikings, one of the guys, has been playing this for a hot minute, so he knows a lot about the game. And uh, he he laughs in bigger ship all the time. Oh yeah, dude, the stars are are really bright in this game. I mean, honestly, the game is really pretty. Uh, the flight models I don't have a big issue with. Not being a big flight sim guy, other than like Elite Dangerous. Uh, but all told, it's not a bad badly put together game. Uh, it has some issues. It does. It's not like full on content or anything. But there's a lot of stuff about it that's pretty cool. Alright. 
right, so now I gotta call the spaceport. Get myself landed. Where's my, okay, there it is. I think my landing bay is like this. I think I might fly in upside down though, because that star is rough. Momentum is a thing in this game. I don't know which way's up. Oh, that's a significantly larger space arm than I thought it was. All right. Sorry, star. And I, unlike a lot of these Star Citizen guys, uh, I do not have two joysticks or the uh, hoe to set up. Oh, do we stop? Do we stop? We stopped. All right, let's see. Click this, and then click that. And then we wait for a second to see if everything refuels or not, because that doesn't always happen. <laughs> uh, looks like that's working. So there I've got quantum, I got hydrogen, I got missiles back. See about repairs, let the repairs happen. Oh, all looks at yeah, see, look, everything worked. So now I can come back into here. And shoot this bounty. Go to this. The map is sketchy. There we go. Get that. Fly away. Got to. Why is there an arrow? Oh, because they think I'm still landing. I'm not landing. There we go. And we're off. Yay. That's one of those things, though, but where you talk about, like, if it's, it's one of those things that's just not functional enough to be irritating. Like, I shouldn't have to hover to do refueling. <laughs> and that's a bug that's been around for a minute. Viking's going to show up and kill me. I hope you guys are ready for this. Guaranteed he's bringing a significantly cooler spaceship than I've got. Guaranteed our neighbor. Mm -hmm. I don't know yet. I haven't seen it. I am certain that it will look cool. I can't even guarantee that I'll be able to see it because of all the stealth mechanics. that I don't know, so I can't take advantage of. All right. Let me zip on over here. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff you can do in this game. You know, you can do hand mining. Oh, come on. You can do a different a variety of vehicle minings, little ground vehicles and spaceships. There's combat, you can do cargo running. There are some like in NPC type missions. Hey, I got a missile off. Ha 
Oh, he's ruined. I got him. Oh, shit, where's my... There's... Come here, you. Ah. Oh, come on. Ah. Uh. Oh, you're not dead yet. Come on. Get him. Ha-ha. <laughs> there, I made some money. How much money do I have now? I have 51,000. I think that's 55. Or is that six? That's a five. I got 51,000 space dollars. What now? Can you blow up stations? No. No, and I don't know if there's, like, plans for that or not. So, but, like, you can go do this toxic waste stuff. You can just ship that somewhere. You can do these things, these uh, investigations to, like, find people. And what's cool about the finding people thing is it also puts you into caves where you can uh, do hand mining, which is apparently a good way to make money. So I'm just doing these things because these are like super simple missions and uh, I understand how they're supposed to work. Ooh, I just took that. Did I get it? I don't think I got it. Oh, well. Now, I'm sure that me zipping back and forth like this is absolutely screwing with Viking. Because he's got to try to catch me. Loan you five space dollars? Yes. I will happily loan you five space dollars. <laughs> I wouldn't even know how to loan you five space dollars. Um, I really don't know enough about how this game works. I don't know if you can. I don't know, he's, you're going to have to tell me if I need to hold still, bud. It's a little annoying, but at the same time, I'm kind of curious to know if somebody's being a douchebag or not. I mean, it won't help me if they decide that they want to get me, but I'm just, I like to know. Oh, bad guy. Oh, why aren't my missiles locking? Ah. Uh, there we go. There, there's two. There's the third guy. Was there only two? I guess there's only two. Sweet. As are you in your uh, are you in your Discord and voice? Because I'll totally jump in there, so you don't have to try to type and play Star Citizen. Come on, Matt. Yes, you are.
Down switch. Uh, there he is. Hello. Oh, no, let me change that. 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 Can you hear? All right, can you hear me? I can hear you. I can. You're you're cutting off real hard. Okay, how about now? That's better. I can hear you. Yeah, the problem was is I, I was getting what you were saying, and then you were saying it again in the Twitch. Oh, well, uh, mute that or dish the channel. <laughs> I'm, I'm totally doing voice activated, by the way. I apologize, because that's probably going to get annoying. All right, now i got to find out where you are. On the other side of this moon. Um, the, are you sure it's a moon? Yes. <laughs> I am heading to a... Can I share missions with you so you can see where I'm going? Yes, you can. Uh, pull up your Moby Glass. Yep. Go to that. Go to accepted. Top. Hey, look at that share. Awesome thing. Because that's where I'm going. Right. I managed to do one of these. The okay, cool. Yeah, I managed to do one of these by myself earlier, but I think it's because I shot uh, four of the arresters at it. I don't even know what I was shooting. Do you not have the beacon? Yep. Okay. That's where I'm heading. Is there a way to like wing warp in this or are we all just kind of winging it? <laughs> uh, well, actually, we're, we're right close to each other. Was oh, that you with the blue dot? I hope. Oh, I think I saw you then. All right. Well, I'm at the beacon. Right. Flying real slow to try to not trigger the spawn. Oh, I got a blue dot. I'm assuming that's you? Yep. What are you in? Um, oh, you get one of those MSRs? Yep. I was reading stuff. I didn't think people were real happy with it as a combat vessel. I like it because I think it's cool. Alright, well, now... I got no spawn. Game's broken. That's it. <laughs> so I did this earlier and all I ended up doing was um, abandoning it and grabbing different missions. So, so if you want, I can jump on board your ship and operate your command's turret. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'm on board with that. That thing's got, what, like two size three guns on it? If you'll just come to a stop, I'll head over to the are. Can I open my door from up here, or do I have to, like, walk into the back? Uh, I can open it, since we're on the same party. Oh, okay. Alright, so accepted. Track that one. I got us a different mission. Alright, go ahead and share it with me. Uh, 
Uh, it doesn't have share on it. It's one of the service beacons. Oh, no, you're good. I know these things have kind of a timer on them, but I don't know if it's like a big timer. I was drifting. I'm sorry. I, I thought I didn't realize I hadn't turned my engines off. I'm stopped now. Okay. Easy. Easy. <laughs> I know. And I see that. I'm doing the external camera. I see you back there. Good night, Dad. He tripped on his way in to the <laughs> spaceship. <laughs> Why are my shields overheating? Come on, now my... Here we go. Yeah, that's supposed to be laser repeaters, right? Yep. I'm good to go. I hope so, we're going. I just did hydrate broken, hold on. I'm assuming you don't get motion sick. Yeah, you. No, not at all. I go deep sea fishing and fall asleep on the boat. No, this this isn't right. Rendezvous beacon. I have a route. I guess that's right. The controls screw with me a little bit on this game. And I can't seem to quantum straight to this beacon over here. Is it on the surface? No, it's in it's in space. It's 30k away. I'm flying right at it. Oh, you can't quantum to it because you're too close to it. Oh. All right. Well, hopefully we get there in time. Hang on. Is that an indicator on my thing where your turret is pointing? Yep. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I'll allow it. It does. All right, here's ships. It's not letting me target anything. Are there any ships here? Yeah. No. Yeah, I see four ships here. And they're all killing the protecty guys in front of us. You don't see any of them? No, dude, we're like 5K. Oh, I figured out. My uh, my quantum drive was apparently still on. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Ha-ha! <laughs> Got that one. Do you see which, tar which ship I'm targeting? That's so pretty dumb. Oh, no, that wasn't right. I don't think we're supposed to ram people, right? Not if you want to live. Okay. Hopefully you'll be able to target people soon. Is your quantum drive thing on? <laughs> in your, one, in the turret? <laughs> I 
big all those years playing uh, Freelancer and Wing Commander are helping me. Oh, my engines are way too hot. All right. That's all of them, I think. Or do they spawn in waves? I, think it depends on the mission. I wonder if you couldn't see him because it was one of those service beacons. It could be. Okay. For some reason, it would not let me target anything. So I would just kind of That's pretty. wherever you are. <laughs> That's pretty dumb. All right. Um, well, let's do... I got another bounty here that I already had accepted. So we'll track that one. Share it. You should have that, right? Yep, just got that. Hundred and sixty one clicks away. Yes. We'll see. Hopefully this works. Yes, quantum turret drive. You're 100 percent right, Broken Boy. That's uh, that's how you get your gunners. <laughs> Wouldn't that be convenient? A really, really fast gunner. Well, that's one of the things that's actually super convenient with Elite Dangerous is you could be anywhere, and uh, somebody invites you to the wing, especially if or invites you onto their multi crew ship, and uh, you can tell a presence to it. It's, it's really, really nice because there's some times where um, now obviously the elite map is built out more so that you can be, you know, thousands of light years away. But you can be thousands of light years away and still get on your buddy's boat and do turret stuff or manage things. Hey, is that your ship? Star Runner. Yes. <laughs> and I can target it, so that means targeting is working again. Okay, well, don't shoot it. It's expensive, I hear. Oh, no, this is the one that I came to that didn't spawn earlier. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to abandon this. Right, we'll come to a stop. But at least now we probably know why I couldn't target anything on that last one. We are making a pretty heavy assumption. So have you ever done one of the uh, 890 jump rescue missions? No. <laughs> Here we go. We'll try this one. Okay. Rendezvous beacon. Here we go. Okay. Now, out of curiosity, I keep having to come across the HUD there where it just says contract available, and then it doesn't say anything else. Yeah, I see that sometimes also. I have no idea what I mean. Oh, you haven't done one? What? Pulled out of a, we just got pulled out. No. Oh, yes. We by who? Guys. Are these real bad, bad guys? guys? Yes. We okay. just got killed by pirates. Let's do this. I don't think you can shoot that far. <laughs> You're right, I would be. Oh my god, you really hitting him? Oh, this is new to me. This has never happened to me. Yeah, we just got interdicted by pirates. Okay, that's that's pretty pimp. I'm not going to lie. Oh, and I'm getting paid for this at least. I took the uh, call to arms thing. Hell yeah. Is that a, that's a consolation, isn't it? Yes, it is. Not for much longer, though. Oh, no, he's in pieces. I like the damage models. The damage models in this game are pretty good. Your game isn't looking too good there. All right, sorry, I got to I feel like I was too close. Destroyed. All right, we got one more. 
He's in front. Sweet. Nice <laughs> Not bad. I'll take it. I should have stopped and rearmed because I didn't even realize that was a thing. <laughs> that was cool. There are two hat requests. I will get to the hats in a second, guys. I'm sorry. Hold on. I will do it. I promise. So I have a chance. Well, you've seen it, haven't you? As the, uh, the hats. Yeah, I don't know what that means, though. Um... So my wife crocheted up hats one day many, many moons ago. And I, I have it for a thing where you can either do channel points and I'll wear one of the hats for a minute. Or, I'm sorry, like 10 minutes. Or you can give me some dollars and I'll wear them for like an hour. And uh, So what you're saying is you can be bought. I absolutely can be bought. It's like, I don't, I don't know if you notice it or not, but on the top of my stream, it's in little letters. But uh, if people can get together $300, the wife will actually... Crochet me a man-sized onesie that I will wear for a whole stream. There's our guy. All right. Oh. Oh, I thought my game crashed for a second there. It did. Are you in space? Nope. Am I going to be able to rejoin on the ship? I won't, will I? You probably can. What's funny is, is I'm still in your damn ship. I right. just blew up one of the guys. <laughs> well, may the odds be ever in your favor. No, I, I forgot to grab my bad and you're off. Well, that just means... Dead. And you're way off the Oh, screen. no, you're still in the pilot seat. <laughs> you come back in, you, come back in, you should. Oh, oh, let's see if I can do this quick enough. So, would you just have a crash to desktop? Yeah. Yeah, and they asked what I was doing. I was fighting pirates. Clearly electronic warfare. Oh. Hi, Fireside. What's going on, my man? Hopefully you're having a good night. Yeah, can hey, can you get two of my hats out of there? I have one here. I'll just check out one of the other bad guys. <laughs> okay, we'll do that one. That's the fine. Other one's, the other one's too far behind us. And you're still in the pilot seat. Persistent Universe. Visit location. Is right, right click. No, go over in the, to the right hand side and right click on my name. It says, it says cannot join server full. Wait, it's letting me join. Yeah. Yep. Is it because my body's still there? Probably. <laughs> I have to keep yeah. remembering your, your Twitch is like Whatever, five seconds to leave. I don't know if I will have time and I don't know your password. You'll have to write it down. Like write down your password and your email so that I know what, is, what I'm looking at. Write it in cursive. <laughs> no, just write, just write it down. It's fine. There are no cursive numbers. Write it down anyway, dude. And you can print it. It's really it's fine. The boy's asking me to try to collect something in Warframe for him whenever I get done with the stream. And I'm in the cockpit. Nice. Yeah, and they're eight kilometers behind us. Eight kilometers behind us? Yep. Alright, well, let's go do something about this. I am completely out of missiles, though. It's okay, you got a turret. Man. I do. Here's my password, my email should already be there. I will make sure it worked him. Well, I think between the two of us, we got this under control. <laughs> Nice. All right, so let me come to a stop here so I can figure I'm out where I'm going. Uh, rearm. Uh, yeah, I'm going to rearm and I'm going to reaccept the call to arms thing and be sad that I didn't get. No, what is it? I don't have it on here. Is it like it's under mercenary, isn't it? Sorry. Oh, it's, I still I I was looking for the call to arms thing. And I'd, I'd still yeah. accept it, yeah. Yeah, because you, you reconnected to your previous 
contest of our previous game. Whatever you want to call it. Instance works, yeah. Everest should be safe enough, right? Everest? Oh, yeah. Unless we get interdicted by more space assholes. So you've never been interdicted before? No, not like that. That was <laughs> awesome. That was actually super cool. Um, Fireside, he's after his Val Ban. Uh, he, he, he collected up enough of the crystal credit thingies to get all the Val Ban parts. Where's the harbor? I lost the the beacon the uh, the icon. Yeah, I'm always paranoid about going to some of these stations just because I you keep hearing all the stories about pad rammers and whatnot. But it seems like it's a lot, lot less common than I thought. Surely I'm close enough to call now. Do you see the landing pad marker and everything, or is that just me? That would just be you. Okay. Especially since I'm not even sitting in a seat right now. Are there like NPC? Oh, what? Why am I getting scanned? See, I've heard, I've got horror stories on this one too. I keep hearing stories about people getting scanned by the police and then magically crime stat and oh. you're in prison. Yeah, if you don't uh, stop when they tell you. He rammed me. Did you see that? I didn't even notice if he exploded. Did he explode? Oh, and I got a 30k. Did that kick you out? Yeah. I'll wait for you to come back in. Yeah, Fireside, I totally get that. It's definitely one of those games where I, I pick it up and put it down. I go on streaks on it, though. So I'm on, been playing it pretty, pretty regularly for a few months now. Uh, I'm going to take my headset off so I can put my hats on it, just so you know. This one always gets in my way. Alright, I'm back at the main menu. You ready for me to launch? Yeah, I'm ready. You can go ahead. You can launch us both. Will it put us at the same station? I have no idea. We may both appear on the ship. We may both may appear God knows where. Okay. Alright, well I got the fancy poo hat that the wife crocheted on <laughs> with my 
rainbow bright locks. I do look fabulous. This is brilliant. And honestly, this... Guess, go ahead. No, sorry. I'm guessing they can't hear me. They can only hear you, right? Uh, no, they can hear you. Oh. Okay. I, I just have desktop audio going. All right. So I should watch my language. Gotcha. Uh, well, I mean, this isn't exactly a Christian Warframe stream. I try to keep, like, F-bombs to a minimum, which is uh, challenging sometimes. So, but other than that, it's it's really not. We're all adults here, except Broken Boy, but he's special. Anyway, Dangos, are you satisfied with your hat choices? Oh, it's, I can't see the chat because it locks. So, yeah, no, the hat thing though. She, um, I was streaming one day and she just did it. She crocheted up like three hats in forty-five minutes. But you saw that blanket that she did today. Mm -hmm. nice. uh, I'm in a bed. Yep, you woke up on the space station somewhere, and so did I. What are the odds we're on the same space station? I'm at Port Allister, I think. Uh, no, you're not. Are you? Richard Evers Harbor, and so am I. Is it the green and gray habitation thing? Yep. P.O.S. All the easy halves are this color. Oh. No matter what station you're in. So when you get to the lobby, stop there and let's see if we show up at the same one. Prob I hope so. That'd be convenient. Like the easy hab lobby or? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right there where you are. Yes, you are. Nice monocle. <laughs> oh, I still have a... Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, let me put my helmet back on. There we go. Yeah, I'm up to 73K. This is the most money I've ever had. Uh, I'm up to 302000 Which is more money than I've ever had, for sure. So now my ship's probably destroyed, right? Um, if not destroyed, probably lost in space. Being this close, it may have actually gotten stored here. No. And why is there a dead body over here? Somebody I don't know. Needs to call the cops. He's clearly napping. He's dead, Jim. <laughs> no. Grab his tricorder. I'll grab his wallet. I ain't touching a body, dude. I I have read entirely too many stories about people trying to move a body and getting a crime stat. here uh it says info unknown location Everest harbor cool. let me go ahead and claim my SR. this is the smoothest disconnect i think i could have possibly hoped for all right so which hangar are we going to pad four or hangar pad whatever that thing well it's all the same to me Pad four. Well, a, a pad is outside, a hangar is actually in a closed Well, yeah. Thing. I don't have a fancy enough ship. No. Well, that's, that's a good point, actually. No, I don't have a fancy enough ship for a hangar. Does, We're not. Does the chat not bother you open all the time? It drives me bonkers. Uh, sometimes. It depends on how spammy it is. I've played a lot of games with, like, so, oh, no, it's at pad one. Look at that. We're going to pad four. That's wrong. Hope you like elevators. <laughs> I yeah. don't have a HUD for it. It's not my ship. So. Yeah. But I can see it on yours. Yeah, we're on, it's only 5K. It's not, it's not that bad. Right, let's try that again. Pad one. Yes, Cutlass is significantly more capable than I thought it was. So does it only have 
two weapons controlled by the pilot? I thought I had four. Uh, it's, but I've only been seeing you shoot two. It's two paired guns. I've got uh, neutron cannons and then the, uh, the Gatlings. Okay. Because neutrons are hard to see. No, I've got the neutrons on because uh, it seems like, and I've never used the attritions, so I don't know, I don't have personal experience on their effectiveness, but I... The attritions are two-barreled repeaters as opposed to the tri-barrel repeaters. They have a little less range, but they have a lot more uh, impact per shot. And that's what I've, I've read. Well, that's why I went with the neutrons, because it's like midway between the two. Mm -hmm. So there are times when I will use the neutrons... And then uh, when I get close enough or when I know I'm going to be able to hit somebody, I will do the Gatlings for sure. Oh yeah, I was going to turn the ship on and then do that. That's a good idea. Let's see here. Mercenary, call to arms, accept offer. That's not a bad plan. It's not too far, so be quick. <laughs> oh, no, I got to call harbor. I don't think I have to, but I'm going to call the harbor people and tell them I'm taking off. Alrighty. Oh, Fireside, did I ever accept your friend request in Warframe? I don't know that I did. If I didn't, I should. Yeah, tomorrow night. Because uh, Star Citizen is it's treating me better than I'm used to tonight. I took a really long break from like three... 3, 8, or 9, whichever one Persistence was initially uh, implemented in. And uh, I just recently got back into it now. I finally decided to listen to people that know more about the game than I do. And uh, melted down my stuff and got the Cutlass Black, which is literally all I could afford. Uh, but And it's significantly more capable than I expected it to be. I'm actually having a lot of fun with it. Oh, no. Oh, I did not. I didn't rearm my missiles. Yeah, well, we'll see how this plays out. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really good. I've got a guy with me, though. He's actually in the turret, which is going to be super convenient here in a second, because I did not put more missiles on my ship. So I'm going to wait for him to get back here before I go flying into the beacon. Uh, we've had one crash to desktop, which wasn't too bad because I was able to jump right back in and get right back into the pilot seat, which was super cool. And then uh, we just had a, I had a 30K and he had a crash to desktop at the same time. I'm back. All right. Well, we, uh, uh, I forgot to put missiles on the ship, so you're going to need to be really good at the turret. All right. I just powdered it up. <laughs> All right. We're going. I 
target down. Oh, hey, stop it. I don't like how the guns get stuck on sometimes. Okay, he's he's screwed. Oh, come on. But no, overall it hasn't been too bad. Oh. Nice. <laughs> that was absolutely accidental, but I'll take it. It probably looked awesome. It wasn't accidental. We were both shooting at it. No, I rammed him. He died when I hit him. Where is the target? There it is. All right, one more. Oh, it's kind of far out there. Oh, that's the guy that we crippled early. Nice. There we go. So, yeah, no, it's going pretty good. All right, so we are stopped, and I need to uh, put missiles on this thing. Yep, so head back to base. Back to Everest? By the way, Everest? have you tried things like overclocking your shields or anything like that? I am unfamiliar with, I don't know how to. I don't know what it does either. It's like every other game I've ever played, if you overclock stuff or overheat it, you eventually burn out your module. Yeah, they can't overheat. But usually shields are pretty safe to do. I'm guessing I do that from these displays. This one. And yep. If you'll zoom in on that and click on items, the sub tab, you got system and items, click on items. Yep. So that's a like five seconds behind you. All right, scroll down till you see uh, your shield. Yep. I love, I love how this works. Click the overclock. That's the stop. Yeah, I, f I found it. The the mouse wheels. And then, yep, and then on the right hand side, you actually click the little slider and slide it all the way up to a hundred percent. Wait. To the right. Here? Where, no, no. To the right. No, the same menu you just had. Yeah, yeah. The right of the overclock thing. Yeah, that little bar. Uh, there it is. Like that. When, when do I see a difference? Uh, you will when you get hit. It recharges faster. Oh, so right now I just have to believe. That's okay. I'll believe. And I love how you can pull up any of these MFDs on any of the panels if you don't like the arrangement. <laughs> well, and I've seen some entertaining stuff. Because, I, I, what is it? There's, there's some kind of app you can get on a smart device to interact with it. That's it. And that's... Yes. That's a really neat idea. Yeah, that's what I did. I, uh, I run that with the, uh, I've got a Kindle Fire HD, what, the 8 inch model, 9 inch, whatever that is. The, not the big one, but this. It's, it's an 8, yeah. And I've got it between my joystick and my, thro my Hotas throttle. <laughs> so it's like I have a panel in front of me in my cockpit, you know, while I'm sitting here. Right. And uh, I keep thinking about it. Doesn't that app cost something, though? What's it cost? Uh, the base is free, but you can opt to get different shards. I don't know. I'll pay like 10 bucks or something like that. I don't know. It's been over a year ago. But you can use it to control things just like a, one of the MFDs here on the screen. Yeah. Um, how friendly is the game to 
uh, voice attack. Uh, it does work. I have voice attack. I just haven't used it ever. Okay. I have it also. I picked it up a while back for Elite, actually. Yeah, fire. Okay, so fire. So I have a question for you. Talking about this blind playthrough thing. So I know I have seen some people getting salty about the blind playthrough and whatever. Is that like an actual thing that Twitch said, or is that just a thing where somebody might come by and say I'm being offensive to blind people? Am I on the right side of this pad? Yeah, I am. Okay. It's hard for you to tell if I'm upside down or not. Well, the easiest way to tell is you see that little circle with an upside down chevron? Yep. If it's pointing down here, it's telling you to land here. Well, yeah, but this is what I mean by upside down. Oh, okay, gotcha. Like, I get where it's telling me to go, but when you're far, far enough away, sometimes that screws with me. Gotcha. Yeah, they changed that, too. It used to be a little wrench icon. Yeah, I remember the wrench. God, this is so weird watching my view and then watching your delayed view. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll bet, yeah. You, um, did I ever send you the clip of the first time that I played and streamed this game? Yes, it was hilarious. It was something. <laughs> it was hilarious. I uh, I was not ready for losing wings on ships, for sure. <laughs> All right, there's the my consequences repair. thereof. Oh, it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. I loved it. Oh, come because, on. Because you know, one thing that a lot of people don't realize about this game is like each ship has thrusters, like all around maneuvering thrusters. Right. And they actually work. Uh, Kalana, Kalania. Yeah, you can do. A, you should be able to do a link. I don't think I have them like depermitted or anything like that. If you put like lemon party in there, though, I'm gonna be real upset. Oh, it's not giving me my missiles. No, it's, I, a couple times. Oh. You know, what do you want to bet this is going to tell me that? Uh, I bet I don't know why. Yeah, it's all shows is empty. Yep. I think I need to store it and then redo it, right? Yep. So let's just exit uh, the ship. And go do that. So stupid. Well, what happened is the ship got stored with no missiles on it. Right. And so it thought, okay, that's, that's how you want it, you know. And and weird flex, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm right behind you. I, my my buddy Geyser, the one that got me into this in the first place, he uh, got me in the habit of doing the side door on the black. And even though I just got it, just got this thing, he said, uh, really good idea because you never know who's going to try to jump in when you're getting out with cargo. Oh, I don't have any cargo, so it doesn't matter. HCS voice packs, Star Citizen. Oh, cool. I do not have a stream deck. I don't have a stream deck and I do not. I have a iPad 10 from work that I would use for work stuff. And I occasionally use for personal stuff. If I was going to do it, I would use that thing. Elevators need to use that. Eh. Then we'd get DCMA strikes. Or I'd get them. All right. Retrieval. Good night, small child. Store. All right. Now it says unknown. Now what's going to be really funny here is if I don't have enough missiles. Yeah, I don't have the inventory for the uh, the arresters. There's a dumpers here, right? Um, I don't think it's a dumpers. So I think it's a, a whatever that other one is. 
objectionable, whatever. Dead dude still on the floor. Now somebody should deal with that. I did get in the habit of not sprinting in stations, though, because uh, people trip and die. <laughs> That's probably what happened to that guy. Yeah, broken. I know the DCMA thing has mostly been hitting like people with actual audiences. And I'm getting there. Yeah, I have one of these. Where'd you go? Nothing back here. I don't have this thing. God, useless. It's probably upstairs. Well, there's got to be something. It's upstairs. Platinum Bay? Yeah, that's it. That panel that doesn't... That just sells components, though. It doesn't sell... Oh, it doesn't sell bullets? Nope. And that's a cassava. That is a clothing store. So right. Not at this... Not at this oh, store. what? See, that's one of the things that actually really bothers me about this, is I can't just go buy missiles everywhere. I feel like I should be able to buy missiles. Like in real life, where you can just buy missiles anywhere. Yeah, exactly. I can go buy milk anywhere, okay? Missiles are milk in this game. Sorry. Tell me, tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. I, okay, so I can go to any, any, any uh, department store. I can go buy milk. I got three places within ten minutes right now where we can go buy milk. Four if you count racetrack. Oh, where is it? This way? You should pick that up. Can I? Because Dango's... No, don't. I mean... Oh, I'd yeah. Hey, you want me to take it to the... <laughs> uh, uh, you know what? Uh, you do whatever you think is best. We we can have a... We can have a mascot. We, we can have a weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> Alright, I gotta get these hats off. Hold on. I, it's Denko's his fault. He re, he did two hats. There we go. Alright, pad one. You're really bringing that thing. Right, uh, elevator on your left. This... No! Oh my god. Wait, what did I say? Pad which? I don't know. What's your ship? Well, it doesn't, this doesn't tell me the pad this time. I think, I think it's pad one. Well, we're getting closer to it. I can't believe... You're stealing their janitor. You know that, right? Yeah. He, he just, you know, needs a lift. Yeah, yeah, that's that's it. He needs a lift. I gotta screenshot this. There you go. Hey, I think I actually picked the right pad. Yep, there she is. I guess I'll open the back door for you. Jesus. Now you see, this is where the feds are going to scan us again. <laughs> Can we both grab an arm and make this faster? Probably not. So this this animation is pretty bad right now. I just... Oh my god, that's not my view. <laughs> like my view, I'm actually dragging him correctly. <laughs> We're, yeah, you're going towards the ship. You're good. What are you doing? We're helping this janitor out. He was sleeping on the floor. So ah. <laughs> our helpful neighbor is putting him in my I like, spaceship. I like, I like how from your view I'm now mm, just using the force to drag him. Oh, you're squatting? Yeah, his legs are broken. 
Like, this has clearly not been the best drag of his evening. He's cuffed also, if you look at it closely. This, uh... Hey, man, I really bring my man in. Dead or alive. Did you ever see Repo Man? All right, to your right. A little farther right, farther right. Oops. Farther right, farther right. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> I've got it on the external view, so I can actually kind of... Okay. That was the worst drag ever. I was like, this is... I can bring you in warm or I can bring you in cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. He's, uh... Do you got to get him on the mag plates so he doesn't bounce around too much? All right. Did you read him his rights? I don't think you read him. <laughs> oh, good night, cat. Right, so, we need, so we need to find a... Uh, Missiles. Another... Missiles, yeah. Yeah. I think I can go to... Her L1 or L2 should have them. All right. Those are all pretty close. All right, we're going to L1. Hey, the radar's got a bad guy. I think. It does. It has a bad guy out here somewhere. It's a Cutlass Black. Yep. Should I shoot him? No. I will let the space... Oh, I'm going to drive right into something here. Hold on. Shit. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm just happy I recognized that I was doing stupid before the stupid happened. Before you fully embraced the stupid? Yeah. That would have been embarrassing. I can't believe there's a body in the cargo hold. I gotta make a clip of that. That's funny. Now, when the cops come to scan you, what's what are your odds of running away? Pretty good. Yeah. You'll just end up with a a, a fine, and eventually, you keep doing it a crime stat. Okay. Here you should be able to also jump to the station. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I uh, I've done the um, what is that? C R U L one to Alisar. Oh, okay. uh, I've done that as a scrap run a few times. There we go. Somebody or saw somebody early on the stream say something. He talked to them about how bright the sun is. That means it can start here. Oh yeah, it's super bright. It's actually, well, that's actually quite realistic because there's no atmosphere to fuse it and filter it for us. Oh no, I I get it. I understand why it's so bright, but damn. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. It makes some of the HUDs really hard to read. Oh, I just fly it upside down. That too. Well, you can. But sometimes the sun is right behind the station. That's true. That is true. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Can I call ATC yet? Yes. I'm I'm 100% certain I'm upside down though. Well, usually the best way to look is if you look at the station, you see all the yeah stuff, the signage, all the advertisements. Yeah, they're on the bottom. Right? Yeah, so you're actually upside down. That's fine. This is fine. So I'm going to have to land and go in 
to buy missiles, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fortunately, missiles are dirt cheap right now. So. Oh yeah, they're stupid cheap. I don't mind that. It's it's one of those things where space legs is super cool, but there are times like right now where space legs are kind of aggravating. And I know I shouldn't make you know direct comparisons between this and really any other game, but it's one of the things that I really enjoy with Elite is I can hit a station, dock, and do everything without having to run all over Hell and Creation. As a gamer, I get that, but they're also trying to make this as realistic as they can within reason. Yeah, well, and they're doing a good job. Yeah, he's still there. Hang on, Bernie. We'll be back. <laughs> All right. Now the question is: is after you store the ship and then resummon it? <laughs> That's a good question, because it's either going to be that, or there's just going to be a body on the pad. Ooh, I'll stay here and wait and watch. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. <laughs> yes. Get ourselves a missile. There is definitely a world of difference between the missiles on this thing and the missiles on that arrow. Oh, yeah. I mean, that arrow's shooting, what, size one, maybe size two missiles? It's, it's got two size two racks and two size one racks. Yeah. Size ones, you might as well just be spinning them. Yeah, but I can shoot, like, all of them real fast <laughs> at really close range. Now, my favorite size two missile is the uh, Sidewinder. It actually splits into like 10 or 12 little mini missiles. I was reading about that. Somebody was talking about rattlers. Oh, God. Rattler. Oh, oh, Jesus. I just had a butthole pucker. I stopped out of the step, went to step out of the elevator. This isn't. Where? Well, I'll see it here in just a second. That's a hanger. Did I, I clicked lobby. Why am I here? Whoa. Yeah, just, yeah you're in a hanger, hanger. Yeah. You must have not actually clicked lobby. You probably clicked. Yeah, see, there, look at that. That puckered my butthole a little bit. You'll see in a second. It just stars. Oh, yeah, I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, they're right there, the draw. Yeah, right there. You, you have found a, found a bug. I'll be sure to report that. <laughs> yeah, I bet you anything you click that hanger right above lobby. You're probably right. And the game's like, you don't belong in a hangar. You don't get a floor. Now, if you want to, I can summon one of my big ships. Wanna, take a tour of one of them. Uh, well, I don't know. You want to do a little bit more of the bounty stuff, and then we can do that? Because I think... Where, how much money do I have? Dude, I got all night. All right, it's, it's stored. What do we got? There is no body out here. Oh. So that means there might be a body still in the ship. That's going to be funny. All right, so let's see. This upstairs? It's got to be upstairs, right? Well, you have to go to the gallery. Yeah. Right. So I'm doing I'm doing this wrong. Um, well, I'm several seconds behind you. So yeah, if you went upstairs, yeah, you would go upstairs. Yeah, that's just the observation. That gotcha. And there's easy habs. Yeah, you're looking for another set of elevators. I see them now, but probably no, not I, past that. No, no, I got it. I found them. Okay. I'm getting the hang of these little orbitals, because these ones aren't, you know, there's not a whole lot of real estate to cover, right? It's uh, it's places like Babbage that just, they scramble my brain. Well, it's a city. All right, there's Cassaba. It looks like you're hungry. You might want to eat also. I'm at like 80% health. I'll, I'll go buy a missile. I'll buy food for the ship first, and then I'll buy food for me. Well, 
Uh, well, I found live fire weapons, which they don't sell missiles either. No, that'd be personnel, personal weapons. Which I do have a rifle and a couple of pistols and ammo for them. That's the food court, which is. Well, I'll go to the hot dog place real quick. Since I'm up here. Let's see, I got Take the helmet off. Grab a hot dog. Two hot dogs? Yeah. By the way, you can also set up a hot key to a uh, toggle equip helmet. I uh, totally believe you. I haven't done any anything with hotkeys. Well, I just meant like you can set up a, a key binder. Right? That's what I meant. I should do that and then do it all through voice attack like a champion. Okay. Right, let's see if I can get this in that trash can. Place. Yeah! Now, I had an issue earlier where I couldn't, it wouldn't actually re-equip from this menu. I had to go to my inventory. Oh, nope, I got it. All right, so we're full now. Now, I might have gone the wrong way. But, now everything down there is just food shit, right? Yes, if you're in the food court, there's only food. Let's go back this way. Shove hot dogs in the missile launchers. That's not a quick enough death, in my opinion. All right. Galleria. Let so me go back down to the bottom here. Might be about as effective as those size ones. <laughs> so there's armor stuff. Here's the club. Well, I mean, I, like I said, I know Port Alisar sells it. And I don't think that's too far from here. Everest should sell it, right? No, Everest didn't. Port Alisar, that's on the other side of the station, or the other side of the system. That's true. So we're at El Hurl 3. You think, uh, right well, okay, yeah, we're at L1. Do you think L3 would have it? If it's not an L1. Yeah, back yep. uh, I must have led you astray again. Yeah. Oh, right. God. That's okay. We'll go to L2. L2 can't be far, right? It's just on the other side of Hurston. It's, right. the close, it's actually probably the closest next one. Hangers and Habs. Hmm. If they have missiles, they will be at Platinum Bay store with ship components. No, it will not. It will be at a ship weapon store. L3 has some missiles at the ship weapon shop. I'm, I'm reading chat here. Yeah, I mean, I, I legitimately don't know, right? So, I have to. Yeah, component stores usually only sell things like shield generators, power supplies, coolers, etc. You know, that was one of the things that actually bothered me a lot when I was trying to pick up equipment for hand mining. Oh shit, I didn't even read where that's at. Pad one, okay. Let's see if Billy's still in the cargo hold. If he's still there, it's going to be brilliant. So, do you have a, uh, like, my name above my head? Nope. You're looking at me? No? Okay, so I have it for you. I'm assuming that's a feature? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're supposed to have that, but it's so flaky. Yeah. 
I think that's... Right, right now, like I have above your head, I've got Shatter Sparks three meters. So, you know, how far away you are. Yeah, and I've seen that before on uh, playing with, uh, like, with Geyser. I think I saw it on you whenever we were fiddling around in whichever spaceship it was. I don't remember what it was. Alright, here we go. Let's find out. Nope. No, nope, they cleaned oh, it out. Man. It. He didn't become a component. Unfortunate. Watch him be somewhere else in here. Is he in the gun turret? That'd be weird. That'd be creepy. <laughs> oh, I hope that didn't have water in it. Okay, so it's L1. You think L2 will have it? I know they have personal weapons. I think they have ship weapons, but I thought this one did, so 50-50. Well, it's nearby. We'll find out. Or just pick one up. I don't care. Well, the only place that I know sells it is on the other side of the system, so we're not going to do that. We're going on an adventure. Right now, I'm just your hired goon. You're not even getting paid. Watch us get interdicted again. That's fine. Here's a question. When the missiles come out of this ship, is there an actual port that they come out of? Because there's no missiles yeah. on the outside. There should be, yeah. I don't own a couple of splacks, so I don't know exactly where they are. But every other ship, yeah, they've got... Or a rack or something. Well, like the rack mount, I'm I'm cool with because like the the arrow and the gladius, they both have rack mounts. That Aurora uh, LN has rack mounts, but this doesn't. So I didn't know if there was like an actual door that came open for the missiles to go popping out of. It should be like when the missiles are on here, they should be physicalized on the ship somewhere or in the ship. I've never they gone looking. To, they they try not to fake anything. Have you ever looked inside of a constellation? You'll just see yes. fifty some size two missiles in it. I have seen right. that, and it's yeah. it's neat. It's cool to see. Oh come on! That particular quantum drive bug kind of bugs me. Oh, the one where you look at your target and it. it after it spools up, you can't go. You have to look away and look back at it again. Yeah. Yeah, that one's been there forever. At least that one's relatively minor. It's significantly less impactful than not having a floor. I mean, that, that one's to the point, how do I need to count it really as a bug anymore? It's just a, you know... Oh, no. No, that's still a bug. Don't get me wrong. It might be one that you've grown used to and can live with, but that's still a bug. I mean, like, you know, if they ever fix it, I might mess with it. No, you won't. What you'll do is you'll like find the new people like I remember back in the early alpha days. Oh, yeah. You kids can get off my lawn. Hey, that's a bunch of rocks that apparently have minerals in them. Mm -hmm. oh, wow, yeah, five of them, nice. Now that's one you would do with the mole or the prospector? Yes. I'm assuming those are not cheap in uh, game dollars. Um, I think the prospector is one million credits. I don't The mole is way more than that. Okay. Well, a million doesn't seem too bad. That's not. 
I've, I've made a million in a you know, day. But you've already got a mole. <laughs> yeah, but I've done it by you know, hauling cargo and doing missions. I got gotcha. you. I mean, there are some missions that you can do that are 12,000 plus, as opposed to the little three or four or five thousand that you've done. Like the one I ta asked you earlier about if you've done the 890 jump rescue mission. Well, that, that one's a very interesting one in a sense. Basically, so you know what the 890 jump is, right? Yeah, I've been inside one. Okay. So there's basically one that has been taken over by bad guys, and when you first get there, there are two couples blacks that you have to take down first. Okay. And then you have to EVA out, make your way on board the ship, and start taking out the bad guys. And there's also a side mission where they have, in a random location on the ship, placed a data mining pad, and they're siphoning data from thing and you get bonus money if you stop that thing in the first like you got three minutes or something like that like three minutes from breach yeah three minutes from breach really those eight nineties are not small no they're not but it's a fun mission and there's like 20 bad guys and the other thing is is there's also security good guys security on the ship that are fighting the bad guys and better not shoot them. Oh, so they're aware of you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But the thing is, if you do kill one, well, then you get a crime stat. Alright, let's go see if we can... Come on, let me out. There we go. Apparently I didn't push Y hard enough. One thing I was thinking about doing was uh, picking up one of those rocks, but uh, I kept seeing conflicting stories on whether or not it actually fit inside of a Cuddy Black. Like, technically it could fit. because I have one. <laughs> well, they're saying that technically it can fit, but there's something with the, uh, the extractor arm mm -hmm. where it'll stay extended, and then when you take off, it bounces just enough to destroy everything. I'd seen a couple of people say, you know, uh, before you back it in, power it on, power it off to get the arm in the right position so that doesn't happen. Mm. And uh, I have to decide if that's enough trouble to make it worth it. Well, I guess if you, we could try with mine and see. Cost you anything. No, well, yeah, we can do that. Let me get my missiles and then uh, we'll totally do that. Sure. Uh, can we do that here or do I have to fly it to like Levski or something? Or not Levski, but. New Babbage or you somewhere. You have to fly somewhere that actually can launch ground vehicles. Yeah, so somewhere on the surface. Okay. All right, same thing to the Galleria here? Or do we just go upstairs? Maybe we'll get lucky and find another janitor. <laughs> Awesome. Now, whether they have the missiles you want, I don't know, but this is a place that sells them. You know, if they have the right sizes, I will be perfectly happy. I should probably make sure I know what sizes I need. So let's see here. Uh, ship. Oh, I didn't store it on the way in. I should have. I can still tell, right, though? Yeah, so, size 3, size 2. Take long enough. So it's size twos and threes. Yeah, yeah, My it's crap load of both. Like I said, yeah. they're dirt cheap. Looks like the size three they have is the Thunderbolt. Is that the only size three they got? That is the only size three they have. Well, I guess that's what you get. <laughs> is that a bad one? I don't know. I don't know either. So this is electromagnetic tracking. 
and then she sounds like it. And then they got bullets for size two. Which I'll buy a bunch of those too. Oh, yeah, those are the, uh, the Bandool ones. They're pretty nifty. Are they? All right. It's 2,000 credits in bullets. And this is, okay, so this is ship components. Right. This is like the uh, upscale version at the mall version of Dumper Depot. Oh, I gotcha. I guess I'm not cool enough to buy anything. Yeah, nothing's loading on the left. Mm. Oh, there it is. So I could buy quantum drives. What's that? That's a size two, isn't it? Probably. I think it is. Yeah, the only size two they have is the Spicule, which is a grade oh, A that's stealth. That, uh, that's stealth, yeah. I would not get that. I'm, ass I'm assuming that's slower. Well, the stealths are just not. Well, they're, they're made for stealth. I mean, if that's the gameplay you're going for, fine. But if you're going for speed or efficiency, no. Yeah, we'll give that a hard pass then. But what do you have that has a, a turret on it that would be convenient? Uh, the Mercury Star Runner, or the Carrot, or drag, uh, that was red, except you can't use that turret, it's just a searchlight. Um, what else? Right, Caterpillar. So yeah, that's like a lot of turrets though. Rearm my ship here. As far as I'm concerned, the Carrick is the ultimate, right now, just the ultimate multi crew ship. It's got everything. I don't, I think I've been inside yours. I honestly can't remember. I, I know I was watching you stream it through Discord, uh, but you were in the mole, I think. Entirely possible. All right, we're doing thunderbolts and bullets. Indeed. Mamma mia. Galileo. <laughs> all right, we're all missile back up. Um, yeah, it's up to you if you want me to pull this thing back out and we can keep doing the bounties I'm doing. What's going on, Flandy? Or if you wanted to get yours out. I thought you wanted to test if the rock fitted in it. Oh, yeah, we have to take this somewhere for that. Yep. Probably the easiest place is down on Hurston. Uh, go to, I think it's outpost named Edward or something like that. It's very close to uh, Lorville. And we should be able to quantum drive almost right down to it. Alright, now we're now we're at pad four. There we go. Anyway, how are you doing tonight, Flondy? Hopefully you are doing well. Hello, internet people. It'd be nice if there was a more convenient way to switch mi uh, which missile you were going to be using. There is a way to do it. It's not convenient. Right. I, I think I figured out how to do it on the MFD. Yep. 
But yeah, that's that's not convenient. That is something they said they are working on. Well, there's enough going on on the keyboard as it stands that I don't know how easy it would be for me to utilize anyway. Uh, I have the, uh, let me look, I think I only have like one rifle and uh, a couple of pistols. Let's see, I got the P4 AR, okay. and then I have the uh, Arc Light Glimmer, and then the one Empire pistol. Oh. I think I got the PR from you, actually. I just don't have them equipped because isn't that one of the ones that like you lose it if you die while it's on? You only lose it if you die while it's in your hands. If it's on your back. Oh, that's not so bad. It's whatever you have equipped in your hands. Yeah, well, we'll just put those on them so it looks like I'm cool. Oh, I should probably do the map thing. I'm going to give you a submachine gun too. All right. So let's see. All right, so I'm looking at Hurston. Yeah, just fly back to Hurston. Well, shouldn't I be able to see it on the map? And eventually, well, yes. Uh, so find, um, find Lorville. There's Lorville. Okay, and zoom in towards it, and you should see, like, like Edwards or something. It's right next to it. may just have to um, go to Everett Edmund. Harbor. I got it. Edmund. Okay, found it. Cool. Anyway, yeah, I'll put this uh, submachine gun in your gun rack here when you get out of an uh, armistice zone. Oh, I appreciate that. I'll have to get uh, bullets for that too, right? Get magazines for it? Yep, it'll have one magazine, but you know, the P8. Alright, cool. I'll, I'll pick that up next time I'm at a gun spot. Yeah, we picked up so many weapons. Now, um,. completely forgot what I was going to say. Uh-oh. Yeah, that seems... No. No, just the cooldown. I froze up for a moment. I was like, uh-oh. What's happened? I blame Jeff Bezos. We're going. The quantum driving through the atmosphere is a little weird for me. We are 100% upside down right now. Where is it? There it is. Uh, you know what? I will agree that is probably for the best. Right, there we go. Got to make sure I'm going the right way. Uh, 
I like how it's letting me spool up my quantum drive, even though it says that I'm too close. <laughs> yep. That feels like that could be a fun mechanic. <laughs> Oh, isn't the atmosphere on Norvo, like, super thick? Yes. It is very thick. I want to say this is the first place I spawned the first time I played. At Lorville? Yeah. That, that screwed with me, too, trying to find my way out. Well, it's just, Lorville, to me, felt like the subway system wasn't very well mapped. Well, it was the first one they ever made. So, learning curves. Yeah, I'll give you that. No, I can see it. Because I think I see it. I see a couple of lakes. Yep, so there's a couple of big pads down there. Yep. Um, you're going to want to land on one of them. I'm assuming um, I need to talk to him first? Nope. Oh, really? Not for the ground ones yet. Not for the little outposts. Okay. I just had a warning come up about restricted flight paths. No, I'm going to Edmonds. It's right here. Yeah, you're fine here. So. Yeah, so I would actually go on the big pad on your left and put your the rear end of the ship. Oh, uh, yeah. Towards the left? Towards the left? Yeah, towards the... So basically you're coming in like on a, the cross part of a T. So swing our nose right. So that way I can just drive up the ramp on the pad and then right up the ramp with this thing. Alright, we're landed. Alright, let me go grab it. I'll take it. That wasn't bad. What's going on, Weeboard? How are you doing tonight? Hopefully you're having a good night. Or morning. It's like 2 a.m. for you, dude. What are you doing? All y'all Brits and you're not sleepings. Um... Well, Weebor, honestly, most, I'll, I'll be honest, probably a lot of what you have heard is accurate. The game is super pretty, actually. Um, the mechanics that are functional are actually really functional. Uh, it is also super buggy. Uh, random crashes. Uh, Sometimes. So... The other voice that you hear is one of the, the better backers for Star Citizen. I don't have much into it, uh, but he's been playing it a lot more than I have, so he's definitely had, he's like one of the original Kickstarters, so he's been through all of the painful things that they've done. Uh, but there's, like, there's a lot of stuff that is really, really good. There's, the, the space combat is actually really good. The, um, the damage models are entertaining, like I can get one of my engines blown off. Uh, and it absolutely will destroy your flight model. Uh, you will you will spin in circles and crash. Uh, the FPS combat I haven't done much with, but it so far feels good. But it feels Call of Duty-ish. Like I see you're, you're mentioning you're just playing it. It feels Call of Duty-ish in that I feel like I die way too fast. And some of that's probably because I'm stupid. Uh, the oh, planets are pretty. Cool. Uh, there's definitely a lot of stuff about it that is really, really neat.
And there's there's definitely some things in it that you can do over and over again. You know, like there's you can go out and do mining for money. You can do cargo runs for money. You can do NPC bounty hunting for money. You can do player bounty hunting for money if you want. Uh, there's there are activities, uh, but there will be those times where, like I count myself lucky right now. We've been playing for two hours, and I've only had one crash to desktop. Hey, easy there, hombre. <laughs> Uh, I've had one crash to desktop and one 30k server disconnect. Uh, I've never tried this in a in a cutlass. So there we go. Get in there, bitch. Well, that looks that looks tight. <laughs> that looks really tight. <laughs> All right, I'm coming to look at this. So, but overall, I mean, it, it's yeah, I mean, it's it's in here. So, it's this arm. Like, does this arm retract? Oh, well, we power it back up. Because this is the thing that I think people are complaining about was that the arm would like impact the ceiling or something. Door's not closing. Hmm. Oh, did I damage the? I bet I damaged the door. Can you da You can damage the door. Yes. Oh my God! So that's one of the things I was talking about. It's it's a really neat thing, but it's also super irritating. But and I can't. Way, jump seats back here in the back? Yes. Okay. Well, and I, anyway. I can't repair here either, can I? No. Alright. Well, this is going to get interesting. Oh, by the way, um, oh crap, we're still in armistice zone. I was going to have you come get your weapons, but I'm putting a rack for you. But... So, let's see, we're on Hurston right now, yeah? Yep. Just get us back up into space. Where am I going to? Go to Everest or, yeah? Yeah, go to Ever Everest Harbor and see if you can repair that way we can actually shut the back door again. Yeah, I think I damaged it when I was... Uh, oh, God, I can feel the weight. I, oh. Well, I think I feel the weight. Uh, oh, that was the... That was just... Gear, yeah, right? Yep, just... Just the landing gear. I feel a lot heavier, I think. Unless that's just the atmosphere. Oh, no. They have modeled the mass. Oh, the Lord. Mass. Okay. You're, the thing's not going to fall out, is it? No, it's not budging. Okay. With it. Okay. Because that would be hilarious. I am not going to lie to you. Yeah, it's parked on the gravity plates. All right, cool. Charging for damages. No, I can't charge him for damages. I, uh, he is instructing me, and he's, him being a turret gunner has been super convenient. Because uh, I've got guns up front, right? I have this thing. And then I have, or I hope we're out of the armistice. I just shot. No warning happened. Okay. So I have like these little laser guns, and I have these mini guns. But then on top, you can see the little bubble up there. That is a, uh, a turret that, there, see? It's bigger guns than the ones on the front of my ship. So it's super convenient. Plus, he's my neighbor. He's letting me use his chainsaw. <laughs> hey, man. It, it, you're, you're giving me, you know... I, I was going to say lots of wood, but that sounds really bad. I will <laughs> run with that joke so hard. Oh, I lost the beacon again. Everest, <laughs> set route. He's going to run with a wood joke so hard. Okay. You're, hey. I will run with those jokes a lot. And you're taking, like, three, four big chunks of it. And you're going to smile the whole time, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> I said, I wish we actually had a mill so we could mill those things up into actual lumber. That would be really cool. Instead of me just turning a bunch of them into bulb links. 
well, there's worse things to make than bowls. Now, the smaller things, you're going to make mugs. Mm-hmm. going to try mugs, tankards, something like that, yeah. That's really cool, actually. So in case any bounty in here listening is wondering what I'm talking about, I'm a woodworker. Can't you hire? So. Well, <laughs> we, we were asking if we could hire a mill. I would assume that we could. But I don't know yeah, what the I cost would be. Yeah, I just don't know how we get it down there and use it down there. Yeah, getting it out of my yard would be tricky. We'd have to we'd have to rent a skid steer to get it onto uh, yep. to a trailer to get it out of my yard. It's yep. it's not a bad idea, but it's uh, impractical. So did you tell him why you had these big chunks of wood? No, I'm just running with wood jokes. No, okay. no I had. Uh, there's a hurricane came through Atlanta about a month ago, and I, uh, I had some trees fall that took a long time for insurance to figure it out. And uh, when they finally got it figured out, uh, I just I now have a whole bunch of what's going to be firewood, and also is going to be some uh, construction materials for my neighbor. What firewood? It's going to be a lot of firewood. It's be a whole bunch of firewood. What I think was so funny is how you, you, your trees actually did like dominoes. Oh, dude, I got so One lucky. fell onto another, which fell onto another, which then kind of brushed up against your deck. <laughs> oh, well, and it, honestly, they were barely even leaning on the deck. Everything was leaning against that hickory. That hickory bounced off my gutter. I have a dent on my gutter that's a, maybe a foot wide. It didn't even like crush it to where water won't flow. It's just a dent. It feels like you should be able to make one. God. No, it, it's Damn. like a metal frame. All right, the police are coming to scan us again. I blame you. You must be suspicious. I've never had this happen. Hey. What? Hey, what? No dead bodies in the trunk of this. Now. Now. <laughs> Anymore. So I have to actually sit here and wait for the space police to scan me. Well, you don't have to. Well, I'm yeah, going. Guy, you want to be a rebel. Hey. Not, not tonight. I have your rock in the back. They said we're cool. Do you hear those radio comms or no? Negative. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a hired help at the turret. I'm just pulling triggers. That's all. Yep. You're my Jane Cobb. Dude, get out of my head. <laughs> Oh, uh, dude, I love the the series and the movie. It's so so well done. I have the DVD for the the TV series, but I cannot find my DVD for the movie. I have both. I might have to borrow that DVD then. Okay. In fact, I just watched it like kind of a month or so. I don't actually. I don't think I'm low enough. All right. Let's see if it'll let us repair. Not available in big red X's. I guess I have to land. Uh oh, you might want to put your landing gear down. Oh, hey. That's probably an important part of this. Yeah, let's try that again. Nope, so this is not available. All right, we'll, we'll try actually oh, landing. So what happens if you drive the rock out here? <laughs> no, restock, refuel, it's all all bred out. All X'd out. All right, yeah. well, I guess we just fly with the, uh, fly with the door open for a while then. <laughs> okay, where do you want to go? Well, you wanted to try the rock out, so uh, rock out with your uh, rock out. Yeah, where, which planet? What's a good planet? Probably one of the moons, I would guess. I don't usually mine around Hurston, so I'm not sure which one. Thank you. Um, I would probably not try the orange one. That one's like 
terrible atmosphere. What's that, Aberdeen? Uh, Aberdeen's yellow. Ariel is orange. Let's, you want to do Ida? I think Ida, you know what? Ida's, I think I know we can land at Ida. Okay. I'm pretty sure I know we can land at Ida. Yeah. We might just be flying in circles for a minute. <laughs> well, I got about 30 minutes or so, and I got a can exit anyway, because I have to work in the morning. Yeah, that thing that I don't have to do right now. Yeah. There's Not a fair... Choice, well, I know. I mean, there's a fair chance that I'll be popping in and out a little bit just to try to run more bounties. Because I know a rock's not expensive. Rock's like 100 k yeah. So if this functions and we can drive the rock in and out. Yeah, if that works, you could just go ahead. Where do they sell one? Is it at a... Uh... What? <laughs> Why would I know where they sell anything? Uh, the other place. The mining, uh, the mining planetoid that I'm having a complete brain fart on. Arctech? Arc? Uh, Delamar. All right, so we're going to go down near Ryder and then just, like, fly off a little bit. All right, now, since I don't have all the fancy mining scanning equipment, on this thing. You, you should still be able to you should still be able to scan for it. Yeah, it should be just like going through that asteroid belt cuz I did that with the the MR. Mm -hmm. It totally was telling me where big rocks were and I'm sure you knew this already. You can't mine those with a hand laser. Oh, you cannot mine the rocks. I don't think you can mine the rocks with the rock. You have to mine the little hand mineable ones, don't you? I have no idea. I, I don't either cuz I've never used it. I bought it and never used it. What the hell? What's the point? Because well, the hand mineable stuff's like in caves. No, no. There's hand mineable stuff out here, too. Really? Well, I already see a rock to your right. Oh. Yep, I see it. Now, do you know how to scan it from the ship? Nope. Okay. I thought you had to have one of the mining ships to do that. Hit tab to bring up your scanner. Yep. You get close to it. When it starts telling you, you'll get kind of like a little sound. I don't know how to describe it. Well, I got a beep. And now there's things happening on the screen. Yes. Oh! So hold down your Gravy time. Thank you. Right mouse button. Yeah. Hold it down. And your other mouse button. Whatever it is. It's left. Hey, there's things. It's copper. And gold. Yep. There's two more rocks over there. Is this worth mining? Oh, good lord. Spellworks, thank you very much for the follow. We just finished a bunch of pewing. Should we bother with this one, or you want to go on the other ones? I like that. Is this out yet? <laughs> Is, I feel like, I feel like, I feel attacked right now, Gravy. Gravy time is my emotional sport Canadian, in case you were curious, ass. <laughs> so yeah no we actually just did a whole bunch of pewing uh, killing NPC bounty people and stuff I totally flew into a mission uh, without any missiles had a, a super awesome server disconnect where I uh, my uh, character stayed in the uh, pilot seat so I just couldn't do anything oh no I was still shooting bad guys while you were well you weren't driving you weren't driving no I was still up in the turret how's Terra Knight and gold sound yes that's good. All right, yes, well, Terranite's very good. Let me scan this one real quick just to see what's in this one. Gold and tungsten. Just, just to remind you, before we land. Landing gear down. Put your landing gear down. Yeah. Okay, so we want this uh, one. I don't know if the rock will do this one or not. I don't know. I've never used it. We'll find out. How do we? All right. Let's find out. I'm gonna try to make sure. I'm gonna try to point the back end of the ship at it. Let you do it. This is your stream. 
and here we go. We're landing. And we're landed. Awesome. Oh, yeah. That's a nice spot, too. Ramp is right on the ground. Uh, I'm going to... That's blind luck. I'm going to call that blind luck. All right. So let's see here. It's my first time driving a vehicle. Let me get in this thing. Enter driver's seat. All right. And this runs... This operates, like, the same as... WASD, yep, unless you changed it. The rock will only mine the ones with the diamond symbol. Ah, okay. So is that not so a diamond symbol? Okay. So this isn't going to work? Apparently it's not going to work if we don't have it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yes. Is it the arm? Where's the arm at? No, the arm's right there. Back up a little bit and turn your wheel right. No, I'm pretty pretty hard jammed in this corner. Okay. Turn left and go forward. Then. Oh no! Open the side door. Um, I can't. can't. You can do it from outside. <laughs> Maybe we can just roll out of this thing. I shut the engine back off. Okay, door's open. All right, let me... Oh, I see what's happening. That arm is in the way. Yeah, um, turn it back on. Oh. Uh, you should, okay, hit him. There you go. There you go. Hey, we're out. So we absolutely cannot do this. I'm going to try it, even though I believe the guy. <laughs> uh, you just ran me over. Oh, shit. Are you all right? Are you dead? No, but I'm apparently laying on the ground for some reason. I have a med pen. Can I put a med pen on you? I'm sorry. Okay, so M igneous deposit. Terranite. I'm seeing all the z all the things come up again. So I'm scanned. So now I hit it, right? Do I have to get closer in here? Because I don't see the the sweet spot bar thing. Isn't doesn't look right to me. Oh no! There we go. Well, and I believe him. I just figure it's, it's, you never know what they have or haven't changed. So if this doesn't work, what's the point of the rock? I guess maybe you can mine faster and hold more. Yeah, that's not doing anything. I probably should see something by now on the rock energy, right? Are you at 100%? I am. It's not even fluctuating. Unless you try getting closer. Just to see. Yeah, you're like a foot from it. It's not making any difference, right? Yeah, and I'm guessing doing circles doesn't help. No. Like I can't cut that chunk out. So that means we need to go find one. So I can't do that one because that one's a big rock. So what's this thing that's 100 meters away? So that's, is that you? that's not you, is it? 100 meters away. Yeah, on my screen, I see one. There's like a little, like a ship icon. Uh, is that your ship? No, because my ship's over there. And I see you running to the ship. No, that's uh, looking at the rock over there. You got another rock over there. That's this rock? Uh, uh, not the one you're, not the ROC, but an ROCK. Right, right. Oh, so that's legit this thing. Okay. Right. 
Is there a like a scan? Oh, there's a scan mode. Yeah. Is this the same thing? I gotta. Yeah. I see some big boxes, and I'm assuming those are probably big rocks. Uh, possibly. You want to drive over there? Yeah, sure, I'll drive over there. Yeah, let's do this. I've already jumped in, so. Ooh, how, uh, I'm kind of curious how likely it is I'm going to flip this thing. This is, this thing is a lot faster. Yeah, I got one two kilometers away that I'm heading straight at. Uh, that's another rock. All right, he says Hadonite, Dolomite, and Aphorite. Will you see hand mineables from up there? Yep. That's what I'm looking for. I'm not seeing any. Do, do, do. This is actually kind of fun to drive. Hit something. It stops really well. I'm gonna go I ahead and say some. that. I found some. All right, I, oh, I'm coming. You're 4k away. Oh no! <laughs> oh good. I was Dukes of Hazarding it for a second there. We're, I'm totally outside right now. I've got my external view. <laughs> it's fine. It's a rental. <laughs> so that was one of the jokes whenever I was a defense contractor. Because we had rental cars for everything, right? And uh, we we took some unlikely cars uh, into some pretty sketchy situations. We uh, we had a Ford. I uh, want to say it was a Ford Focus and a Chevy Malibu, both like uh, 2012, 2014 models. And we were off-roading through the woods and stuff down outside of Fort Hood in Texas. Um, should have destroyed both of them, to be honest. We bottomed out enough to where all the bolts and stuff on the bottom of a vehicle, all of them were flat. Uh, which, again, it, they're not off-road cars, but we did. Had one guy driving this Suzuki, was it the, their little four-door sedan, like an SX4 or something like that. Oh God. Okay. And uh, he actually got his wrapped around uh, concertina wire wrapped around the tire and the axle. Oh boy. So yeah, and he didn't really notice it. Like the the terrain was rough enough that he didn't notice it happened until he started to see and smell smoke. So <laughs> that was fun to explain to the rental company. Oh, I was going to ask about that. Uh, I don't know that I have any of that. Actually, I'm pretty sure I don't. All I have is like this uh, work stuff. Yep. You need the Novrakov. Mm -hmm. what I'm not wearing. Okay. Which can be bought at the uh, space station of the Microtech. Just there or anywhere else? With the hand laser? 
You right click like you're zooming in. Yes. I don't see the diamond icon now that I'm outside the ship. You're still uh, I'm getting there. There's rocks. Oh no. The suspension on this thing is fantastic, I have to say. I feel like Brad Pitt and Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Uh, he says you have to be in the ship to see the icon. Oh no. No. I wish I could see a damage model for this this vehicle. Because I don't have you on my, my HUD, remember? Right. So right now... You've got the, you've got the cutlass. So. Yeah, I'm like 400 meters from the cutlass. I just don't want to run you over again. I see something. Yeah. Yeah, I might definitely have to buy a rock for this. See me jumping? Yeah. All right, so get that mining arm back out. 86% had a night. That sounds good. Yeah, go ahead. Well, you might not be able to add one into here, straight into Twitch. Uh, if you put it into like Imgur or something like that, then you could you can post that link. Uh, okay, gotcha. Otherwise, you just put it on Discord, and I can figure it out. That's true. That's just give you a oh God! Well, it's happening. It'd probably help if the rock wasn't bouncing. Oh, wait, no, slow down. I'm gonna back away. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. I'm gonna go hide behind this rock. I had it right for a second. I think we're doing it. Oh, this is tricky. Oh, I almost had it. Hey! Oh, yeah? Alright, now how do I pick this shit up? Alright, change uh, modes. I think it's the other mouse button. Like that. Oh, that's super cool. There's one I can't get to. Where? Right underneath that rock. Or, well, there's a diamond icon. That You know what that is? Yeah, that's probably the other stone, or it's just left over from that stone. Maybe if it's left over. Yeah, because I don't see a little purple chunk. Okay, so then that's the exact same way. Oh, no, that's not what I want. Fracture mode. So it hits the green. Oh, he says it's leftover inert material. Yeah, if it's just leftover inert material, don't worry about it. Okay. 
Oh, that's what said. Sorry, I wasn't like a Twitch streamer. My bad. I, I don't mind you repeating stuff. I don't know what I'm doing here. Come on. Go up a little bit. A little bit. This is funny. I've owned that rock for months now. <laughs> I bought it in concept. I've never used it. You're the first person. Well, I can see this thing being super useful, honestly. Yeah. Now that I'm actually in it. Something's really cool about it is, like, once you've collected stuff, there's actually uh -oh. a thing on the back. The shit went everywhere. Oh, did you explode it? With like vigor and. So what's your capacity here? Your cargo capacity up to? Does it say? Five percent. Five percent. Okay. So now I gotta drive around and pick all this shit up. Yep. Oh wow, you did blow up. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's honestly kind of a pretty entertaining side effect of mining. I didn't think it would do that. Well, probably because you got it in the in the red, yeah. Red zone, yeah, exploded. Which you really don't ever want to do in spontaneous. Oh, uh, that's probably one I won't ever try to mine because isn't that the one that explodes in your cargo hold anyway? I know this is this is nuts. Well, go get them. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> now the good question that I have is is there a way to transfer it out of the rock and into my back why well, don't oh I have my rucksack with me. Yes. That's what I was gonna to try to say a minute ago. There's actually a cargo container on the back of the rock you can open up the door and actually pull the container out and like, like slide it back and open its inventory and you can actually transfer its inventory into yours I was thinking that in the case of 30k because I, I, I don't know if this is like a good load or anything like that obviously I know had night's supposed to be that's a good rock at least I don't. <laughs> it's, it's all over the place. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what she said. What you're saying? You just got a little excited. I got super excited. It reminds me of my first time going deep core mining in Elite. Sure, that makes it a lot easier to pick up. When you don't blow it up, yes, I'm sure. No, I mean even when you do. Could you imagine trying to run around? All this up by hand. Oh, so that'd be super frustrating. Depending on the kind of day, it might be one of those things where I'm like, eh, and just fly away. I'm sitting here watching you from inside the ship just drive around. Hang on, there's a collection force meter? Oh, it doesn't do anything. Oh, there's, there's shit everywhere. My god, what have I done? You have to, no, right? Wait, wait, no, those are behind me, okay. So, uh, apparently if it's in your backpack, it still might be lost in a 30k? Mm, I didn't so, know that. So, I mean, might's a whole lot better than definitely, though. Oh, that's probably the inert that I don't want. The fun part will be when I try to back this thing back into the Drake. Well, I've already broken the door, so... Uh, That's true. You don't have to worry about that. And yeah, you gotta be really centered right, because that ramp is really skinny. <laughs> uh, 
All right, I'm about to say F it. We're up to 8%. I don't know how much that, how much is the, what's the capacity on this thing? Uh, yes. Uh, I was going to get out and put some of the stuff into the backpack just so we don't give it an opportunity to not get lost. All right, well, I'm parked right now so I can try hopping out. Where's the exit rock space? Or is it just Y? Okay. Are you freezing to death yet? I have 47 minutes. Thank you very much. So, it's underneath the purple part, yeah, interact with that. Do I have to split this stack? I do. Oh my god. I don't... Oh, I'm not... I don't have the right armor on yet. Yeah, I was going to say, do you have the, the better armor on? You might need to go in the ship to do that. I don't know if you'll die. Yeah. You know what? Let's, let's be safe. No reason not to be safe here. All right, no. So, let's see here. Get this. Get this. Armor. Go ahead and switch into my normal. All right. Oh, the wind is picking up. I don't like that you have to split it down. Because, like, it, it won't just autofill the inventory. Can you not store all commodities? What does that do? Uh, there's just an X. I don't know yet. Yes. For what? Eighty seven percent for or were that night. Looks like ninety nine percent full is fifty one pieces. And then my leg I have Seven pieces. Right. Well, let me try to grab the rest. Let's see if I can grab it. Seems to be mostly full. I am pretty full. That's a neat mechanic, though. What was your stream achievement, Broken Boy? What did you get? Is it working for you or no? Uh, I'm trying. Let's see. Five of them with a 72%. And seven of them is 100% for my leg storage. The other three went in my chest arm. That is sweet. All right, let's see if I can park this one. We'll find out real fast. <laughs> we're either all going to die, or we're not. <laughs> I'm going to go... Or say, are you clear? <laughs> I'm sitting in the uh, pilot seat. <laughs> <laughs>
because of the way that ramp is funky shaped, you gotta be almost dead center. Hey, you got it. Yeah, that no, hold, stop right there, stop right there. M, hit M, hit M. Right. Now hit it again and should stow it in the correct position. There you go. And definitely make sure that you turn the engine to like power it all off. Okay. Nice job. Is there another button I gotta push here? Uh, did you power off? I did engine off. I don't see where power off. Oh, there it is. There it is. Power off in there somewhere. Got it. Dude, you did such a perfect job of parking. You put the tires on each. Oh my side God. Of I'll take I it. Mean, I mean, look at the stairs. You're like perfectly centered on the silver plates in the middle. Well, that settles it. I'm buying a rock. <laughs> all the way until it destroys us all. <laughs> all right, so where can we sell this at? Anywhere? Uh, any place that sells uh, commodities, yeah. All I right. think these don't go to a refinery. I think they go to uh, like where you'd sell cargo. I mean, Guys here can probably correct me if I'm wrong. Well, I sold some before at Alisar. Yeah, let's so surely I could sell it at Everest then. Good, let's go to, yeah, go, whichever. Well, it's not that far. Well, well, where do you normally live at, or does it matter to you? It doesn't matter to me. All right, not the All right we're going to go to Alisar then. Oh, my engines are off, aren't they? Engine on. Gear up. Yep, I'm gonna buy one. If I can, if it's really that easy, then I'll absolutely do it. Now, for me, if, if I'm doing that by myself, you're saying I'd have to go to like Babbage or Lorville or somewhere, right? Spawn the ship, drive it somewhere, park it, come back, get the rock, and then put it in. Now that it's in, like like if this one were yours, now that it's in, you, know, you could actually store your ship somewhere, and when you respawn it, it'll be in here again until you either blow up or lose it to a 30k or something. Okay. Oh, once we get up in space, before we're back in, uh, make sure we're out of the atmosphere. Uh, go back here and get these weapons I gave you. Oh yeah. I shut the engines off. That should. There we go. Yeah. That was something I had read where you can do that when you're quantuming towards someplace on the surface. Oh, those By the way, were... I don't know if you know this, but you can also store all your commodities in your inventory into a box. I did not. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah. so I got you two uh, submachine guns there. They're nice. I like it. Thank you. Yeah, so you only have one place to store a yeah. rifle type weapon on that armor. So you may need to like pull up the other one, hit number two. And then is there a stow or an equip or There's a stow. Oh that's just gonna put it back there. Bring up your uh Yeah, Moby Glass and glass. unequip it. Unequip. It's still there. On your back. Did I not click save? I thought I clicked save. So I got Desert Shadow, Unequip, Save Changes. Okay. Now it's gone. Are both of them gone? And the, no, the other one is sitting on the ground where you just dropped it. What? Oh my god. There we go. Okay. That works for me. Alright. Go 
gotta pick us some place and sell your fat loot. All these fat loots. Oh, I gotta reset my uh, my marker there. Dark Collider says you can sell at the outpost also. I'm not sure what outpost is. Do you mean um, like one of these ones, a hurl or something like that? Or maybe he means an outpost on the, uh, Like a surface outpost? Surface outpost, I guess. Well, I'm just gonna go to a station because that's where I'd rather be, to be honest. We're in space. Eda, right? We were at Eda, yeah. Oh, we were at Eda. So, yeah, you can probably go to. It's the same place you sell cargo. I sell those at. I, I don't do a lot of cargo runs. Or any. All I've ever done is going from, like, the CRUL1 yeah. to Alisar. You know what? Let's. Uh, can we sell it? We can sell it at. We can sell it at Everest. Where else are? No, I don't think you can sell at Everest. I don't think they have. All right. They? Yeah, they don't have cargo there. He says a surface outpost. All right. Well, we're, I got to fly across anyway because this is where I'm, I'm used to being at. But now nah, this is cool. I learned a lot. Your rock got some use. I'm gonna have to pick one up, which means I got to figure out where to buy one. Yeah, I think it's at. Okay, so let's see here. I don't know, but uh, Darklitter says that he uses the his MSR, which makes sense. That one's got a bigger cargo hold, right? Yes. So probably a lot easier to put the uh, oh, yeah. you, the you rocket. Ursa rover in that thing. This is the this is the biggest ship. This is really the only ship that I actually own. So this this is what I got. You got a barrel also, don't you? Uh, no, I melted everything down. I think that's a placeholder thing. That's not mine anymore. I try, I've tried claiming it a couple of times, and every time I click it, it just cycles the screen and says, nope. Don't you also have a dragonfly or something? I do have a dragonfly, but that doesn't have a quantum drive, and I don't think I can put a rock in it. <laughs> Although I could use the dragonfly to skim around looking for rocks to mine, right? I have no idea. You said it usually goes to Daymar, the rock mine, and then Schumann, the SC1 on Daymar, or Arc 41. Well, we're going back to uh, Crusader, right? So yeah. We'll just go to Daymar and do that. Or just go to Port Alasar. I'm just going to go to Alasar because I'm, I'm logging out after this. I told you, I have to sleep. I ha the sleep calls for me. Lo there, do I see my bed before me. Sleep is for wimps. I, well -rested wimps. I, caught the, I caught the soft, I'm sorry. I gotta rest up so that I can get all pimped out so we can chainsaw and split. I'm streaming that, oh, by the way. That's gonna get streamed also. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna stream the chainsawing? Well, I've, I've streamed splitting before and uh, actually had people watching. Um, I had some random outdoorsman branded type uh, watch company uh, retweet me when I was talking about splitting wood. <laughs> I've tagged Fiskers a couple of times because that's my splitting axe brand, and I do like it. I need to get some wedges. So, I gotta look into that. I know those aren't very expensive. I do have some wedges if you need to borrow them. I might very well borrow your wedges also, because there's a couple of them pieces that are going to be a little meaty for just me and an axe. But but me, with some wedges and a four-pound sledge, I can do that. Better use it. Me. Yeah, well, it's got to get done. I'll, I'll use a chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I like splitting wood. Splitting wood's fun. It's, yeah. it's simple. Talk, talk to me when you're 53. We'll see if you have the same opinion. I might, but at that point, I'll probably also have picked up a log splitter. <laughs> I know, actually, Harbor Freight has, like, a, a pneumatic log splitter. Pneumatic or hydraulic? A pneumatic one, like, it's two levers. You just have to 
pump the levers back and forth and it I'm I'll be honest, that that can go ahead and eat a bag of dicks. No. <laughs> That's as much work as as using my axe. Four pound need an eight pound. I don't need an eight pound sledge for it, although I do have I have a ten pound maul. So I might use that some. But I have a four-pound sledge that I can just one-hand it so I can, you know, hold the wedge for a second, get it banged in there, and then pound it down. Yep, a buddy of mine uh, gave me, like, you know, three, maybe four big, big-ass wedges. So. Oh, that'd be plenty. I'd... Yeah. I mean, I need to pick up my own set at some point, but if you're offering, I'll happily use yours. Yeah, well, and I'm buying a chainsaw, too, at some point. I got the link, by the way, so I'm going to definitely look into that. Yeah, a 20-inch bar should be plenty big enough, you think? Yeah, that's what I went. Okay. Yeah, so that's my chainsaw. That, that one is a 20-inch. And supposedly the new chain will be here tomorrow. Well, if it's not as overcast, I might do a little bit tomorrow, just to get the feel for it. What? Come on! The space police. Why are the space police here? This is bullshit. This never happens to me. I think it's you. I think it's the dead body. They're still looking for it. Maybe it's not in this. It's not in here anymore. Yeah, thanks. You're... whatever. This legit, I've, I've, as much as I haven't really played this game, this is the first time I've ever actually been stopped by the police. And it's for, what, three times this stream? Three times. And it very well could... oh. Yeah. What? It's, like, shaking a lot. Probably because we're too close to Crusader. That could be. Whoa! What was what? Nothing's happening on my screen. Okay, I heard something. It sounded almost like a small explosion. Um, yeah, I was say, go check on that rock. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, my. Is it? Oh, my. Is it? I don't, I don't think that's going to buff out. <laughs> are, uh, are you implying that rock mining isn't going to work? You know what? It's probably too close to those columns. What do you want to bet? Okay, so just tell me this. Am I going to be able to land? Well, I'll see it in a second here, won't I? <laughs> okay. I don't know. Well, now I don't get to see the rock. I posted a picture of this. <laughs> uh, it says the party's disbanded, by the way. I think it's because the cut list disbanded. I don't know. All right, so let's see here. Inventory. Uh, my leg storage is emptied, but my backpack is still full. Well, let's see if you can go sell it. Hey, buddy. Hey. So did you see the picture? Not yet, no. I haven't. I got the stream up on the second monitor so that I can respond to chat and make sure that my stream health is good. Because that's one of them things where uh, it'll happen to people sometimes where their stream will take a shit and they won't know. So I like to, to have a rough idea of when my stream takes a shit. All right, so sell, personal inventory, sell this. Got it. I got 14,000. Hey, that's 
not bad at all. No, I'm excited about that. That's fantastic. Just think if the rock hadn't exploded and it was full. <laughs> all right, so let's see here. Let me come over to my live channels thing. Take a look, see who's doing what, so I can shoot a host over to somebody. Looks like... So i got to ask you before, before you turn your stream off. Yeah, yeah. So, do you enjoy Star Citizen more as a solo or playing with someone? Um, that was more fun having you there, for sure, especially with uh, running the turret gunning. And it is always more entertaining when dumb shit happens to all of us. <laughs> so I, I will freely admit that for sure. Okay. So, all right, let's see. I'm just going to host up some random uh, Star Citizen stream, I think. See who's doing what. See if somebody's got like a picture of their joysticks going along with their normal camera. Because you see that a lot. And that's always cool. Yeah, this is a lot easier with a joystick. Whole lot I'm sure. I think I do reasonably well, all considered. Uh, yeah, you are. No, nobody's got both. Right, let's do... We'll do Stalzer. He is apparently looking for the drugs, bud. So that might be entertaining. All right, so we're going to go host this person up in... Uh, I am going to log out of here and be done for the night. Had a good time. As, thank you very much for playing with me. I do appreciate it. Ow. It's convenient that I can do solo NPC stuff and do some do solo mining and whatnot. It's definitely a, it's not a non-viable aspect of the game, which is convenient for sure. Here you are doing all, I don't, how do you do gestures? I don't actually know how to. Anyway. So I, uh, I'm going to be out of here. I will be back. Uh, I'll probably be doing Star Citizen streaming for Wednesday, to be honest. Uh, but tomorrow is co-op Warframe night, or co-op game night. And it's just, it's been a lot of Warframe with uh, the wife and my oldest and stuff like that. So Space Ninjas, and then uh, I'll give it an even odds for uh, Wednesday being some more Star Citizen. Uh, but beyond that, again, thank you everybody for coming. Thank you for the new follows. Thank you for the bits from everybody. And Special thank you to Az here in his fancy red armor and uh, me probably poorly parking the rock. I bet you that's what it was. It was probably too close to that column. I think if it was far, a little bit farther forward, that wouldn't have happened. Because when everything loads, it always bounces, right? Mm -hmm. So that's probably what happened. Anyway, I'll probably buy one and we'll test. We'll find out. But uh, either way, good night, folks. All right, and there's the host sent over. Let me stop my...